Hey everyone, it's Erica, and I have some mind-blowing um, discussion topics today. And if you are in my world and you are already working with me, you know that this is freaking huge. And as I am helping everyone else elevate, I am also continuously, continuously doing the work on myself and my own beliefs. So when it comes to consciously manifesting, using the law of assumption, you're going to be basically manifesting your most powerful thought in your subconscious. This is why when you work with me, we go straight for the subconscious, right? Um, but this is also kind of the tricky part because as you know, everything can be a program. Everything can be a false belief. And I have had so many of them and I actually had a massive breakthrough two days ago, which is why I'm here making this video right now. So, you know, my main thing is love, romance, you know, I got the money on lock. I mean, literally, money just flows to me out of nowhere. I attract money easily, effortlessly. I don't have to do anything. Like, I have already set it and forget it with the cash flow. But when it came to relationships... Um, not only my past experiences, which are really only truly a mirror to my subconscious mind, but even deeper than that, my core programming has always been what's been really throwing salt in my motherfucking game when it comes to love, lust, all that shit. Okay? So... I just found out that, okay, well, let's back it up. Before I, before I um, explain to you your core running frequency, now some of these freaking beliefs that we have, that we, we don't even know we have them. That's why it's a lot of trial and error. Um, when you have a session with me, I muscle test you. I go straight for your subconscious and we just figure it out. Is it a yes or is it a no? Do you hold the belief? Do you not hold a belief? Right? And then from there, once we know what the belief is, oh, boom, I can shift that thing out in two seconds for you. This is the studies I've been doing. This is what I've been learning under my mentor, Sarah. And this is what I do on myself. It's not necessarily the removing the belief and replacing the belief that's the hard part. It's finding out what the fucking belief is in the first fucking place. That's been the challenge. So once you have the belief, God, I can rewire you in literally two seconds. No big deal. But every freaking thing is a belief. So trying to manifest a text from my specific person, okay? So I'm tapping into myself. Do I have an energetic block to communication with so-and-so? Yes, I do. Well, let's figure out what it is. Do you know how I'm an every little thing can be a program? Okay, I found out a couple things. I'll just, you know, to, to not make the video forever long. I will name a couple things. I had some kind of a belief in me that men only put effort in at the beginning and once they know that you have feelings, they think they can back off and keep you, you know, on the back burner or whatever because they already have you so they don't need to put the effort in. That was a belief. I removed that belief. I was able to remove that belief out of my subconscious totally, and I replaced that with a new belief. 
that when a man knows that you have feelings for him, it causes him to put more effort in. Okay. So like, that's what I'm telling you. Every little thing can be a belief. Okay. So if you have been doing the affirming, basically, and this is what I've been learning from Dylan James. If you're doing your affirming, if you're actively consciously manifesting, affirming for certain things, okay, and it's not showing up within like a week or two, that is an indication that you actually have a stronger belief running as an undercurrent that you don't even know about. So here I'm sitting here affirming, you know, I am loved. I always have a great time. I have great experiences. Um, I'm always in communication. Um, you know, everything that you would want in a relationship, obviously, that's what I'm affirming for. Not knowing that my undercurrent tone and belief was fucking my whole fucking game up. Not no mo, y'all. Let me tell you what this belief was. And I, I took myself back to before I even could remember. But let me tell you what this underlying belief was. And how I reverse engineered myself to get to this core belief and fucking yank it out by the seed. Because this may be common. Now, if this may, might not be your particular belief, but you may have one of your own that you don't know about. Um, so I had a core belief and I, I discovered this in the pit of despair, in the pit of sadness loneliness, um, invisibility is where I discovered this underlying core belief, which was actually an ego programming safety mechanism. This belief was, but you can't feel happy for real because if you feel happy for real, something horrible will happen and it will all go away. That was a underlying belief. As long as I can remember for affirming, I want to say I am in a happy relationship. I'm in a healthy, happy, loving relationship. I feel good. Like these were all the things I've been drilling into my brain, right? But yet, hmm, nothing right? Crickets. Until I found that fucking belief. I had a safety program running. Well, it makes good sense. It makes good sense. Why? Because I was immediately taken back to a belief that happened about 11 years ago. And this was like probably the most triggering experience because I did recall I felt truly happy truly content and then in one instant it got so incredibly flipped upside down ruined and I felt such a shock of guilt and pain and sickness over, oh my God, this horrible thing happened like this because I have a curse that if I really do feel so happy that immediately something horrible will happen. And it rang true. That incident that happened that did cement that belief, but that incident only happened because I already had that belief inside of me. I wasn't aware of any of this 10 years ago at all. 
And I had never removed that belief. I had never even thought about that I had that belief. I went back even farther, did some inner child work, sent some love to the inner child. Mind you, I gave myself a session. I spent about a good hour on this particular extreme belief. I felt, and most of you, you do report when you're working with me, whatever area we're working at, um, I felt this heaviness just leaving my subconscious, just absolutely leaving it. I felt lighter than air. I was like, that core belief had been plaguing me for a lifetime, for a fucking lifetime. And I can really truly attest to, you know, I haven't felt that beautiful, true, surrendered happiness, that, that, that perfection bliss of happiness. Um, because I literally, after what happened, happened, that was a that was a massive wall that was a massive program that my ego started running to keep me safe and to keep what i thought were my loved ones safe because that was kind of the belief something bad will happen if i truly enjoy a person and i love them so much something bad will happen they get taken the moment gets stolen that and I had to remove that whole belief that whole fucking system and let me tell you that system ran deep that's why no matter how much I would affirm that underlying current always won out because that's having two aspects of yourself battling each other, right? So what do I have to do? I had to give it unconditional love. I had to thank my ego. Thank you, ego. Thank you for running that safety program. Because if I was not willing to do this inner work, that belief would have kept playing out over and over and over and over again. And I really, they say you can't know things until you know them. That was a safety program. I have children. God forbid that I would have felt any kind of happiness, something happen to them. That was a big, deep program, and that program did its job. That program did its job of protecting me and my loved ones. Because if you have a belief that if you are happy, something horrible will happen to you or a loved one, then that's exactly what the fuck is going to happen. So the ego put up a fucking program that just wouldn't let me be happy. Because I wouldn't have known. It would have just been a perpetual cycle. Me feeling happy, something horrible happens. Continually, continually. So you see, these programs that you're running are in fact for your safety. But I dismantled that program. We're good now. I reinstalled a complete new programming system. Folks, you are nothing but a computer. You are nothing but a programmable computer. I uninstalled that entire fucking system. And I have a new system running. That the more happy I feel, the more the universe gives me more to be happy about. It is safe for me to feel happy. My loved ones are safe when I am happy. I'm allowed to be happy. Listen, y'all. I, I made about a hundred different affirmations on this and drilled it into my system while I was in a theta state. This is what I do for my people here. This is what I do for myself. And I will tell you, 
after that, it was an instant shift. Fucking instant. I have to say within about a half an hour, specific people I wanted to talk to started reaching out from reaching out to me. I got roses sent to me out of freaking the blue. I've been feeling good. I've been actually, I noticed myself laugh. Um, my kids have been acting different to me. We've been actually enjoying stuff. Like, I noticed I took them to the store instead of getting annoyed or whatever. I was able to live in the moment and truly enjoy the activity. This is fucking huge, you guys. Huge. When I tell you that we have to reprogram your subconscious and then everything fucking works in. You remove that bullshit, you replace it with something better, and then that's what's going to start running. And you set it and forget it. It doesn't have to be like once you do it, you do it. You don't go back. So that's why this work is powerful. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. So I hope you gained some clarity from this. I hope the message serves you. And I hope that it planted a spark inside of you um, about the subconscious rewiring and how important it really is. All right, everyone. Bye.